Hello everyone, Namaskar, Rajkrishna this side. So today we are going to study one subtopic in the small portion that we have that is curve fitting and in this uh, we sometime have some problem based on change of origin. So why exactly we need change of origin? Because sometime uh, you see uh, you have in fitting of straight line you have things like summation of x, summation of x square, summation xy. So what if the values of x are too large? Then uh, doing calculation will be a bit difficult or tedious. So uh, for avoiding uh, those tedious calculation, we change the origin and make our calculation simpler. Now there can be two cases. If number of values in x column that can be odd or even there can be only two cases so what we do uh, we transform our equation instead of writing it in terms of x and y the normal equation which were in terms of x and y we write in terms of u and v and later we back substitute it uh, in terms of x, uh, x and y so for that you take u as x minus a divided by h. Now this x is different for different val uh, values in the column. Uh, as you can see in this question, I have made the table. So here you will have u column. Okay. So for different values of x, you will uh, calculate the corresponding u. And how will you calculate u? u you will calculate by finding x minus a by h in case it is an uh, n is odd and x minus b by h by 2 in case of n is even. Here h is same, the difference between the x values that you know, uh, that is the width. Uh, what is x you all know, corresponding value of x and a. Now in case uh, number of values are odd, let's say 1, 2, 3, 3 values, number of values is odd, let's say 4, 5, if you are confusing. So, 2 from here, 2 from here, only 1 is the middle value. This middle value is nothing but A. In case it is odd, uh, even, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, then there will be 2 middle values. So, B will be your mean of these 2 values. That means 2 plus 3 divided by 2, that is 2.5. Okay. So, we will use this formula. In case of even, there will be H by 2 in denominator that you have to take care of. So this were transformation for u in terms of x. Now you have also one transformation v in terms of y and y0. Now here you have that freedom. You can either take y0 as 0. Or again in... Uh, y also take the middle value or you can take any value of y okay from y set uh, that is this you can take any value okay there are uh, six values you can choose either 28 as uh, y naught or 38 46 40 56 60 any value any value from y as y0 fine and again y minus y0 means that from every row you will take this y and subtract it with whatever y0 you have chosen and uh, no division uh, the, uh, only numerator is there okay so this is uh, the transformation and after this transformation the normal equation will look something like this and you need to take uh, in mind that uh, the odd powers of u, that means summation u, summation u cube, this will be 0. This is some uh, short of calculation hint. Okay. Now, I don't think it is much clear to you till now. So, let's plug into the question. So, it will be clearer to you after solving this problem. So following table shows the number of salesmen working for a certain concern. Now as you can see the data set is large. Large in the sense 1998 is a large value and doing calculation will be tedious. Anyway we will use uh, calculators uh, after um, 
doing this also but again uh, doing this calculation always takes time so for avoiding that you change the origin first of all you notice that there are six values so n will be six and of course this value is even so while transforming for u you will take care that okay let's first find the middle value so middle value will be this two mean so that was b i think b or a whatever so 2000 plus 2001 divided by 2 i am not calculating it now because i will plug that in this so x minus this thing x minus b 2000 plus 2001 divided by 2 because it's even so you will have h by 2 h here is what is the width width is 1 1998 1999 difference is 1 so width is 1 h by 2 so 1 by 2 will be there let's just simplify this so you will get u equals to 2x minus 4001 okay and uh, this divided by 2 will come and this 1 by 2 will go up and this will get cancelled so you are getting uh, the equation for u which is 2x minus 4001 this you will have to use once to fill the table and then at the end to back substitute because this is your substitution and what about v v is simply y minus y not i am taking any value okay so let's take 46 as i told take any value of y so 46 so these are the two equations which we will be needing uh, to fill the tables so let's uh, jump into the table so uh, what is the normal equation now in terms of u because now uh, your uh, equation instead of having y equals to a plus bx now your equation has converted to v equals to capital a if you are changing then change everything so capital a plus bu this is now so according to this what will be your normal equation according to this it will be summation of v equals to n a plus summation of u similar just in place of y we are putting uh, v and just in place of x we are putting u then uh, how to remember the second equation just multiply both side by u here so u v equals to a summation u plus v summation u square again we have just uh, replaced x by u and y by v we have done nothing special here so because you need u you need v you need their product which is uv and at the end you will need u square okay fine so one thing which i told i hope you uh, took that point carefully that summation u and summation u cube will be zero that we will notice now let's calculate u what is u uh, i would uh, tell you that uh, have calculator in your hands uh, so u will be what is the transformation equation that we will be using 2x minus 4001 what is x corresponding 1998 so 2 into 1998 minus 4001 fine so this is giving us minus 5 again for 1999 we'll have nothing but uh, 2 into 1999 minus 4001 this is giving us minus 3 similarly in calculator also you can just uh, pass on your cursor 2 into 
2000 these are calculation that you can do in mind also uh, so again 2 into 2001 minus 4001 and that is giving you 1 and again 2002 2 into 2002 minus 4001 3 and next value will be 5 filling the v values so what is the expression for v y minus 46 so 28 minus 46 is giving you minus 18 38 minus 46 minus 8 46 minus 46 0 you have some uh, benefit of taking uh, this value inside from this you can take 0 also but uh, at least one value is becoming 0 40 minus 46 is minus 6 uh, then minus uh, sorry plus of 10 and a 40 what about uv uv as you can see 90 it will be uh, this will be 24 this will be 0 this will be minus 6 30 don't unnecessarily use calculator every time it will be 70 and uh, what about u square u square again no need of calculator 25 9 1 1 9 and 25 as i told you if you would have noticed that time then as you can see summation u is going to give you zero negative values to the top negative values to the bottom they are going to add up to uh, sorry negative and positive values adding up to zero summation v if i see uh, then uh, it is going to give you 40 14 plus 10 which is 24 minus 6 which is 18 minus 18 which is 0 and minus 8 so minus 8 is what you are getting now as we calculate summation uv this will be if i calculate with the help of calculator so this is giving me 208 and if I consider summation u square, so this is giving me 70. So these are the values which we will be using in this uh, normal equation to make our normal equation. So normal equation was uh, summation u which is 0 equals to n times a. n here is 6 times a. a is something we need to find plus b into summation u again that is 0 fine so okay wait wait uh, in the LHS we had summation v which is minus 8 so this will be minus 8 summation u is 0 so this is minus 8 so if you calculate uh, your a from here so your a will be minus 8 divided by 6 so if I calculate that, so you are getting minus 1.3333 and what about B, That uh, for that we have other equation which was uh, summation UV which is 208. I hope you have written normal equation earlier, summation UV equals to A times summation U again a times summation u is 0 plus b times summation u square so you will be getting b as 708 uh, sorry 208 divided by 70 and this i am getting as 2.9673 So you have got value of A, you have got the value of A, uh, value of B. So what equation we have assumed that was V equals to, as you can see here, capital A plus BU. So V equals to minus 1.3333 plus 2.9714U. But 
दिस आर आवर एजम्पन सो वील प्लग बैक द वैल्यू ऑफ वी एंड यू इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन सो वट इज वी वाई माइनस फोर्टी सिक्स इक्वल्स टू माइनस वन पॉइंट थ्री 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 वट इज यू यू इज टू एक्स माइनस फोर थाउजेंड वन टू एक्स माइनस फोर थाउजेंड वन लेट्स जस्ट सिंप्लीफाई दिस वाई इक्वल्स टू वट एवर इक्वेशन ए एक्स प्लस बी दैट शुड कम लेट सी सो कीपिंग वाई इन दिस साइड एंड सेंडिंग ऑल द अदर वैल्यू सो आई हैव फोर्टी सिक्स दिस साइड माइनस वन पॉइंट थ्री 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 and i will be getting 2.9714 multiplied by 4001 with a negative sign so this is nothing but negative of 1 1888.5 And plus this two times two point nine seven one four five point nine four two eight so your y will be uh, and with this you will get one x also so I am writing this in the front so five point nine four two eight x and uh, let's simplify the constant terms so this is 46 minus 1.3333 minus 11888.5714 so this will give me negative of 11843.5714 so this is the final equation y equals to 5.9428x minus 11843 point something okay so calculations as uh, you will do yourself but uh, the concept that was easy one if it is odd then uh, you can transform as y equals to x minus a by h a is nothing but the middle value if it is even y equals to x minus b by h by 2 uh, take care of that and b is nothing but the mean of the mid values v equals to y minus y not y not you can take any value from that y set or you can take as zero also h here is width and uh, the normal equation uh, as you can see is uh, nothing but uh, just replace x by u and y by v okay so and how to get normal equation how to remember this first equation you remember okay y equals to na plus b summation x here in place of uh, you can make changes accordingly uh, and in for the second equation just multiply entire equation by u and you will get the second equation and also this thing summation u summation u cube if needed will be zero coming to the table we did all the simplification and was even so U equals to x minus uh, that value divided by one by two because width was one nineteen ninety nine minus nineteen ninety eight is one and width is equal as you can see so you got the equation for u then v i uh, y not I chose as forty six and this was the normal equation I made the table as per the requirement and then the equation simplification found found the value of a and b wrote the equation and then because u and v was my substitution so i need to plug back the values in terms of x and y and that's it i got the equation finally so that's it for today we'll see you with some more question you can visit the playlist uh, that i have made on uh, curve fitting uh, or statistics as you can see uh, for more such problem thanks again